This is an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar taking a look at 3D space in Motion 5.1. Hi, my name is Larry Jordan. In this excerpt, I'll show you how to create something very simple, an image which has a sense of depth. If I go to the inspector and I select the folder that contains this object, notice that there's now a selection box around the object. When I go to the inspector and go to properties, we see position, which controls the horizontal or the vertical position. And we also see rotation, which controls the standard rotation that we're used to. But actually, hidden under the surface are more controls than that. If I twirl down position, I can change the position of an object horizontally, x axis, vertically, y axis, and to or from the camera, which in our case is the screen. That's the Z axis. I'm moving it back in depth or forward in depth. I can reset any of our settings by clicking the curved hooky arrow, the reset button, and everything is reset. I'm going to scale this back to 75%. Just as we can change the position in space, we can also change rotation, and this is the setting that I use the most. I can rotate in Z space. That's the one that we're most used to, but that's not the one that's the most interesting. If I rotate on the x-axis, it looks like there's a hinge, like I'm lifting a lid. I'm rotating on the horizontal axis and giving me a sense of this opening out or going back in depth. Just as I can rotate in the x-axis, the one that I like the best is the y-axis. This gives me a sense of perspective, like opening a door or a gate. The near edge on the left is closer to the camera than the far edge, and I'm getting this forced perspective, which gives me the illusion of depth. We can further enhance this illusion with depth of field on a camera, and we'll get there. But for right now, it's enough to simply know that we can control depth by rotating based on the y-axis. Now, there's two ways that we can do that. One is we can work inside the inspector. This gives us the controls that we're the most familiar with, and it gives us the highest precision. But it's not necessarily the easiest. The easiest is this button right down here. This is called the 3D Transform button. And when I click it, new controls open up on screen. The keyboard shortcut to toggle this on is the letter Q. And the keyboard shortcut for the arrow is not the letter A, it's Shift S, which just drives all of us nuts because inside every version of Final Cut since the beginning of time, the arrow tool is the letter A, but in motion, the letter A turns on automatic keyframing over here, which has led me so far astray so often that Apple and I are barely on speaking terms about this. So to turn the arrow key on is Shift S, and the 3D Transform is the letter Q. With the 3D Transform, notice that I've got three arrows here and three small white circles. If I grab the arrow, I can drag on screen, I can drag the object left or right, that's red for x-axis, up or down, green, that's the y-axis, and the blue axis allows me, the blue axis allows me to move the object away from the camera or toward the camera. Horizontal, vertical, and depth. Notice these three circles. This allows us to control rotation. The green circle rotates on the y-axis. We're going to use this a lot. The red circle rotates on the x-axis. And the blue circle rotates on the z-axis. I find this on-screen control to be a whole lot easier to use. I simply click on the green rotation line, and I can rotate any selected image. Again, to reset, go over to the inspector, click the reset button, and we're done. So I have not moved into 3D space. I haven't turned on any cameras. I haven't turned on any lights. And yet I can take any element, open up the inspector, or turn on the 3D transform controls and automatically get a sense of perspective based upon clicking and dragging on these on-screen controls or the controls inside the inspector. 
This has been an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar taking a look at 3D space inside Motion 5.1. For the complete version of this online training, please visit our store at larryjordan.biz slash store and look for Webinar 132. And thinking of training, if you need to stretch your training dollars, a subscription membership to our video training library saves you money. You can access all of our videos for a low monthly price of only $19.99. That's more than 800 movies, dozens of hours of training, all in-depth and all up-to-date. Plus, members can attend any of our Power Up webinars for free. Our training covers Apple and Adobe software. We update it every week. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.biz slash subscriptions. And thanks.